Look at this red. That is a red. I'm gonna come through here. You'll see the little creek I'm talking about to the right. This is a this is a decent sized fish. One well, thing Florida's famous for is there he is. That's a doggone good one right there. That's what we're looking for. Good job, Scott. It's a nice fish. We're still in Florida, and yes, we're even going deeper into the Everglades. It's gonna be a great show. Stick with us. Oh, yeah. Get some of that camera action. <laughs> Get him. I'm going to tell you something right there. <laughs> Good girl. That is a good. I got to get him out of that. That's a heck of a crappie right there. Now get out of her way. <laughs> That's a good start right there. <laughs> tell you what. <laughs> the G3 Sportsman is presented by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Yeah. He's putting the pull on you, ain't he, Ronnie? Yep. These are really aggressive fish. Like there's something in those. This is the type of fish I'll be fishing for in the winter. Uh, they get a lot bigger. This is a, this is a decent sized fish. A lot of people seem to think the fish are gone. You gotta put in a lot of time and effort to find these fish. You know, with the freeze, a lot of people have mixed doubts, but I fish the Everglades a lot. Whether I catch a fish or not, I'm back here trying. And to me, just being on the water is a, is a bonus. Catching the fish is a bonus to me, you know what I mean? A lot of people don't have the opportunity to get out and fish. I just, I just love fishing. So this is how we just started the day off. I'm looking to get some fish like this and a little bit bigger, and we'll see how it goes. With the clouds and the wind, we got a front coming. Might get an unexpected bite that I'm not expecting on. It's pretty fast. Well, we're way back in the Everglades right now, and I mean way back here with Captain Ron Houston. And this is our, this is what we're going after right here. We're going after snook, one of the most popular game fish here in Florida. They say they're not around anymore because of the freeze. Well, we're fixing to show you that there's a few still left down here and that you'll want to come down here and fish with the old captain right here. Good job, Ron. Good job. The start, you know what I mean? Hey, welcome to the G3 Sportsman. Well, you, as you can recall, last week we were down in the Florida Everglades fishing with Captain Ron Houston for some speckled trout and some redfish. Well, this week we're still in Florida, but now we're going to be doing a whole different ball game right here. We're slipping even deeper into the Everglades, and we're going after snook. Uh, what we're going to end up doing today is uh, we're going to be running up into the Everglades back country trying to target snook. And what we're going to be doing is throwing a variety of artificials today, hard baits, and uh, fishing points, shorelines recurring, and trying to fish windy sides of the islands. On well, this particular morning, you know, we hooked up with Captain Ron there at Chocolosky Resort, and uh, we had about a 50, 60 mile run. And uh, I mean, but in his big old skeeter that we were in, shoot, it didn't take us any time and just as smooth as it can be, that big old skeeter running. And, you know, when you get back in there, you're thinking, you know, this is totally different than what I thought the Everglades was supposed to look like. We are definitely in the back country right here. We probably ran, what, 50 miles? 55 miles one way. 55 miles one way back in here. This is just how vast this area is. And we're back in just one of these canals or whatever you want to call this right here. Have no clue where we're at. And uh, just remote. You don't see any other boats. About the only thing of civilization you'll, you'll even hear or see is like maybe a plane going over. There he is. 
Good job. Okay, remember we came by here earlier? Uh -huh. They weren't here? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. It's Gator Tough, strong enough. Keep some going when the going gets rough. Gator Tough, strong enough. Everything you need. Summer, spring, winter, fall. G3 lets you do it all. There's nothing like a Gator Tough G3. Visit G3Boats.com to find your nearest G3 and Yamaha outboard motor dealer. You know, sometimes you just got to think outside the box. Fioki, what's your game? Garmin says their new Echo Fish Finders are simply the best fish finders for the money. I'll echo that. Right. Garmin also says you'll be impressed with the Echo Fish Finders' excellent power, screen clarity, and free transom and trolling motor mounting kit. I'll echo that. A nicer uh, bass. I'll echo that. Oh. Oh. oh, why is it looking at me? The Yamaha VMAX SHO. First it changed the game, now it set the standard. But don't take our word for it. The whole shot was everything they said it was going to be. Yeah. We accelerated from like 50 miles an hour to 70 and it was like that. So fast, so quiet. I mean, you give it power and it's just there. That thing right there is just bad. The whole shot on it. Second oh yeah, it's for real. Take a demo ride and feel the power yourself. You'll know why we call it the game changer. The segment of the G3 Sportsman is brought to you by G3 Boats. A great catch. Fioki Ammunition. What's your game? Abu Garcia. For life. And by Garmin. We'll take you there. Okay, remember we came by here earlier? Uh -huh. We weren't here? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah! Get some of that camera action. <laughs> that is pretty. I mean, that is pretty. Another nice fish. There we go. That's what it's about right here. Hit that power pole down. There's a switch right on my console. Like I say, just throwing some artificials, getting in the back country, getting for winter. Looks like somebody's fishing. He's on. Just like these fish. You got a good fish, bud. He's got one. Now we came by here earlier. I'm gonna let this fish go. Maybe they're coming out now. That's a nice fish, so Ron. Mine's not as big it's as yours. Okay. But, it's okay. But we'll it's a nice go. fish you got. I like this. It's funny. We just we were actually turned around and we're coming out. Well, we tried earlier. And uh, we just came back into the same pl place here. And. Uh, we uh, we come in here and two snook, and I have no clue what I did with my pliers. For some reason, sometimes I'll come through and I won't catch him. Then I'll come back. It could have been an hour difference in the tide, the wind, the bite's been better during the day. You know, uh, everything I've been doing is hasn't been according to plan, but the fish have been in the same general area. I've been catching them, so maybe the fish are starting to spread out. Snook are structural. Catching these fish up under the mangroves can be tough. Uh, once these fish hit you, they're a real strong fish, a real aggressive fish. The first thing that they're gonna do is try to get you back to the structure. But with the conditions I'm looking at today, two days before a cold front, north, northeast winds, and falling water, the opportunity should be good enough for us to catch 
snuck in everybody's back country. Now, whether we're gonna catch the monsters today or not, that's to be seen. Yeah, I just spared one. That fish wasn't supposed to be there either. Keep me out with the trolling motor. Don't punch it too hard. I got the trolling motor. Cast up the creek. That fish wasn't supposed to be there either. Okay, go ahead. Get you get your fish. Get your fish. This is what we're looking for anyways with the freeze. It's a good positivity to see fish like this. That tells me the area I'm fishing, there should be fish coming back here, popularity over in the, in the, in the years. Or well, these fish are just surviving and are starting to move out from another area and now are existing in here. But we'll keep plugging along, see what happens. It's good Catching them where they ain't supposed to be. I mean, being that we caught a few fish, I figured, you know what? There we go. There we go. That's a start, man. Like I'm telling you, I haven't caught a fish here in two months. But you okay. ain't sure caught that. You see who that is? Largemouth. That's a good largemouth, too. This is the time of year these fish will start moving back here. I mean, I've caught some fish starting in February up to about 11 pounds annually. Heck. Good keeper smallmouth. Yeah. Or a largemouth. Tough tournament, old Van Damage, like five of them. <laughs> Catch a large mile. That a boy. You get a variety. That just shows you what the Everglades has to offer. There you go. Oh, bass. Large mile. <laughs> get out from underneath that boat, boy. Probably another one back there, too. Mm. Get out from underneath that boat. That's a nice little bass. Yeah, not bad. Is that a gator under the tree right here? By that creek mouth? Oh, they're just so dark. Did he hit it? Did you hear that? Did he just hit something? They like them little gold crankbaits too. Well, that's not bad. I still hadn't caught my big snook, but. We're gonna get some opportunity, my friend. I'm getting, I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. Where was another gator at? I thought I saw a gator right by this creek mouth go down. And you see where he's hovering. He found his little spot. This might be Look a Look at that bowl. Okay, okay, so we're on some fish here. There he is. Come on, take the rod over. It's a good fish. Oh. Take it, I'll get the net. Oh, it ain't bad. He should be a pretty decent fish. It's a pretty good fish, dude. Well, he come out of there. I, dude, I had to work for him. Okay. Broke off. What? What? He pulled the hook. Pulled the uh, hook. Damn gum it. All right. There's gotta That's be more. Really making me mad. I want I had my big one on there. Dead gum it. Finally. Come on along, get a great catch today. Sit and relax, you're gonna stay. The water is waiting, come on, let's play. Let's all catch a G3 day. Suncatcher series by G3 Boats combine luxury, comfort, and performance into a full line of pontoons to fit your every need. Let your Suncatcher lifetime memory start today. Let's all catch. A G3. Visit G3Boats.com to find your nearest G3 and Yamaha outboard motor dealer. Design backed by cutting edge precision. Sophistication that's world renowned. Durability that's not to be outdone. So why do we insist on such perfection? We know what's at stake. Veritas and Verdict, the next generation of the V-Series from Abu Garcia for life. I'll tell you what, waterfowlers, I shoot a Beretta Extrema too. I just can't believe how universal in its application this gun is. And it fires every time I squeeze the trigger. Here they come, here they come. There's no question that this thing works in all conditions. 
it's the best shotgun I've ever shot. Take the real deal is that the gun just works and works and works. Good shot. Wow. Get inside the Beretta Extrema 2. Blast off at BerettaUSA.com. This segment of the G3 Sportsman is brought to you by Beretta. 500 years, one passion. Mossback fish racks. No matter how you stack them, we attract them. Berkeley, catch more fish. Shakespeare, quality fish and tackle since 1897. And by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. You know, here we are now in the third segment of the show, and I still had caught my big snook. But now, you remember somebody else was having troubles catching snook, and that was Eric. At night, when we were staying down there at the boathouse, you remember Eric was trying to catch some snook that was right off the docks right there. They'd come up at night in, in the lights, and we just could not catch them. The first night was a bust. The second night, no better. The third night, still couldn't get one to bite. The fourth night, well. It's our last night here at the boathouse. You've been watching me go out every night trying to catch one of these elusive boat dock snook here at our gazebo house. And uh, you see me fail every night. Well, tonight we're going out and we're going to try her one last time. Well, what's the verdict? No dice. Again. Again. <laughs> they win again. And you stay at a place like this where you got Doc Snook, it's going to be tough. I don't know what to tell you because I've obviously failed. But one of the good things is it's not been a total loss for me. I was actually able to catch my snook today while we were out filming a show with Captain Ron out on the bay boat. Caught a nice snook. So check this out. Snookage. Snookage. Good fish. That a boy. Yeah. Nothing to it, is it? Nothing to it. What took you guys so long? Nice. Four days on the dock, snook and failed. Had to run about 50 miles to finally catch one. Take your picture. It's a good fish right there. Hold them in the mouth and the tail, Eric. Away over the water, not over the water. All right. Well, they will. They'll, they'll try to whip you. Good job, Eric. Excellent. That a boy. Yeah. Snook action. Snook action. Get you. Everglades. Well, look at this fish after me, dude. Look at that fish after me. Mm -hmm. Cast behind me. Cast back up in that niche. There he is. Nah. Another good stuff. Hey, get back up in that niche. Oh, I'm sorry. Real nice. Boy, he's... Hey, he's, he's all right. Just a fighter. Oh, he's hooked in the fin. You get hit, Scott? Yeah, I did. All right, we're gonna turn back around. Might lose him. Should get the net. There you go. Another nice little fish. Oh, look at that. He's in a hurry to get back in the water. See if I can get that other one, too. Like I'm saying, I haven't caught any fish in this area in two months. Front approaching, fall coming. The possibility of these fish are finally on the move and coming back here. Pretty Everglades so. snook. There he is. Oh, and he came off. Okay. One of the things about fishing for snook in the backcountry, there's a couple key things I like to talk about. You want to try to concentrate on using anything from two to four inch plugs, whether it be top waters or subsurface, and a variety of four to five inch soft plastics. Now, casting up on the shorelines and getting the lure back to the boat the fastest as possible is not what you want to do. You want to be subtle with your presentation. A lot of these fish that we're going to be fishing today are ducked up under the mangroves. Very surprising for me to see the same fish hit three times. A lot of pressure here. He tells you, you gotta get in there. You gotta get in that one little hole. You do what he says. He's, for the most part, he's right. That's where those snook are. You gotta hit them little pockets and gotta play the wind and play the current. Look at this fish. There's a big fish right here. 
big fish swirled on me right here. There he is, right there. There's a nice snook. Look at this red. That is a red. Get out of your way. <laughs> Light tackle Everglades fishing. I'm not even sure I know where to get. You know, wouldn't be a problem if that host that I got here would grab that net. Well, you ain't even got him close yet. But I will. Like that? Yes, sir. Appreciate that, bud. I mean, that is that is really pretty right there. Because of that tannic water. You know, I said there's a variety to catch. It's just starting to late fall go off. These fish are getting back here for the winter time. Um, I expect the fishing to get better. I've been playing on and off back here and haven't really done real well, but we're starting to catch some fish. Bass, snook, redfish. Yeah, that's pretty. That is a pretty fish. I really like how the colors are on them here. We're picking away, dog. I hear you, I'm about to get your plug out of your net. Well, I appreciate that, sir. I'm trying to get lucky on this one shoreline. You know, one thing I wanted to do when uh, Hunter over at Pure Fishing sent me this rod and reel combo, this new Veritas Abu Garcia, it's a six foot nine medium. And I thought the best way to tell whether or not this rod was gonna be worth its salt was to come to salt and fish. And I'm gonna tell you what, this, this rod right here is, has impressed me. I've just got it on a, on a regular Soron number 40 size Abu Garcia reel, which is really a, a freshwater reel, but it's been working great in salt water. It's a great little combination right here. Boy, I had one hit me too. Another good one. You know, we might not have to leave, dude. Man, I had one hit me too. Skipper always gets his. Skipper always, no kidding. Boy, this little old canal's paid off, hasn't it? Get a good day of fishing in. Here you go. There you go, that's a good one. That's a good one. I'm that's... gonna let him go, okay? That is a good one. Let me help, let me help this guy over here. Good job, Scott. Oh, look at him jump. Whoa, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Quadruple jumper. Look at this thing. Boy, he's pulled me all over the canal. I gotta get him out of that. Okay. All right, Ron, one more time. There we go. Woo -hoo -hoo. Give me some of that now. Hey, give me a little <laughs> love, dog. Give me a little love. You old rotten rascal, you with that lucky hat. Right here. That's why you come to Florida. You come, you come down to Everglades, fish with Captain Ron Houston right here, is to catch big trophy snook. Man, this is great. You talk about a heck of a time. We've had a big time down here in Florida. Man, he's just taking care of us. We've got to see some beautiful country, plenty of gators, sharks, everything you can think of. Yeah. Florida is everything to say it is, yeah. isn't it? Now's getting to be the time. You owe it to yourself to get down here, fish with Captain Ron Houston, right down here in the Everglades in South Florida. Unbelievable fishery that they've got down here. I was so sick of him fishing, I ran over his ugly stick with his own truck. Don't get me wrong, I couldn't be happier that he found a hobby. <laughs> I, I'm a peaceful person. So I gave it to our dog, Sugar, as a chew toy. Your mama or husband back. What is that thing made of? You know what happened? Nothing. nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. Ugly stick, tested under some of the harshest conditions on Earth. Stupid ugly stick.
Introducing a revolutionary way to attract fish, the Mossback Fish Rack. From the box to the water, setup is a snap, and you can be fishing in no time. The rough surface on the branches encourages algae growth, and the unique design virtually eliminates hanging hooks. Use the Mossback Fish Rack in your pond, hang it off your dock, or sink it in your local lake. Join the guides, pros, and weekend fishermen who are already reaping the rewards. No matter how you stack them, we attract them. To learn more, visit mossbackrack.com. You go down to a place down around Marco Island and, and south through there to the Everglades in Florida, there is just so many different types of fish to catch. You can't stay there long enough in order to try to catch as many fish as, as, as there are to catch there. Hook up with Captain Ron Houston, you know, you're guaranteed you're going to catch fish with him and you're going to have a really, really good time. There's no, no question about it. We enjoyed our time down there and I look so forward to going back again. But that's all the time we got for this week's show. But just remember, we'll be out there somewhere next week, right here on the G3 Sportsman. Thanks for watching. The G3 Sportsman is brought to you by G3 Boats, a great catch. The Oki Ammunition, what's your game? Abu Garcia, for life. Garmin, we'll take you there. Beretta. 500 years, one passion. Mossback fish racks, no matter how you stack them, we attract them. Berkeley, catch more fish. Shakespeare, quality fishing tackle since 1897. And by Yamaha, reliability starts here. Little bass, my bass. Take, take the boy out of the Midwest and he still catches freshwater fish. You think that gator's just six foot? Shoot, everything Every, your success is all about the tide here. Isn't it? Whether it's coming in or going out, you fish it differently, don't right. you? Correct. Well, the locals told you how tough it is. Oh yeah, they said it couldn't be done. They just laughed at us.